Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference World. And for today's vlog, I'm very excited because it's going to be our second storytime vlog and we're going to be exploring the political paradigm shift, controversial paradigm shift of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. I'll be sharing with you guys, you know, video or illustration experts um, from my book and just sharing, you know, like I said, this, this, um, book is written to encourage and stimulate thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism and and that's what we do here at third eye emt we, we talk about issues that are taboo and often swept under the rug and so uh with that being said um hope you guys would enjoy but also before i go any further i must say uh rest in peace to my mother from chill shenever um she passed away the day after christmas um after 17 years of uh, fighting on dialysis and, you know, three days out the week, you know, three to four hours getting poked with three needles, you know, every week. And, you know, she don't have to do that anymore. And so I'm um, just trying to find comfort in that. Um, that devil is busy. He is on my back trying to push me overboard and, and make me do things that I know my mama taught me better to do. And so um, that's why I say it's okay to not be okay, but just don't sit there and not be okay. And for me, I'm making it a point in my life as I go on with my life and move forward to never to hide anything and hide how I'm feeling. You know, I got a mean poker face, but I'm tired of showing it now. I'm ready to, you know, show who I really am, if you will. And so when I'm hurt, you know, I'm not going to hide that anymore. And I am hurt. But um, one thing that I've learned is that in order to help yourself, you know, you, can, you should help others. And so... Um, doing these vlogs and talking with you guys is very therapeutic and cathartic for me. And so um, I'm going to do like my mama told me to do, and I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to make sure this book blows up and I represent for her. So uh, rest in peace, mama. I love you. And I know you're no longer suffering. And although you are not here with me, and it hurts me to my heart that you are not. But um, I'd rather her than you be hurting. So you rest peacefully because you need it, you deserved it, and it's well earned. Um, okay, with that being said, uh, hit, check out the video, guys, but also, again, be aware that your discretion is described. This is for grown folks only, so if you can't take this type of heat, then do not bother coming to this kitchen. So, check out the video and enjoy, and I'll be back on in a while. Warning, the following content is controversial and might be disturbing for some audience. Your discretion advised. What if Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a famous white civil rights leader murdered by a black man on April 4, 1968 at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, Tennessee? What if the Ku Klux Klan or the KKK was an American black supremacist hate group whose primary targets were white individuals? What if these racist bigots often harassed, kidnapped, raped, tortured, and lynched innocent white people? What if the Jim Crow law was reversed and worked in favor of black people instead of white folks? What if, in 1955, a white woman named Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat to a black man on a public bus and was arrested for it? What if, every time a decent white family moved into a black neighborhood, black families would move away in fear that white folks would contaminate their ways of living? What if this was known as black flight? What if, during the 1950s and 1960s, white people started to march for their civil rights in America? What if, in 1952, a white lawyer named Thurgood Marshall brought a lawsuit to the U.S. Supreme Court and two years later successfully won the right to desegregate blacks and white children, allowing them to attend the same school? What if, on November 14, 1960, a six-year-old white girl called Ruby Bridges was the first white child to attend an all-black elementary school? What if, during the Civil Rights Movement, white people's voting rights were impugned, suppressed, and denied by black people? What if, on June 12, 1963, a white war veteran and member of the NAACP named Megan Evers was shot by a black classmate in front of his wife and children? What if it took 31 years until this white man's killer was found guilty and sentenced to prison? What if a white human rights activist named Malcolm X was the subject of constant surveillance by the government? What if this constant surveillance was due to the fact that this white man was a killer in his white community and was deemed problematic for the black man? What if the American judicial system was systematically built to keep white males in jail or prison at a much higher rate than black males.
what's up everybody welcome back i hope you guys enjoy watching the video of uh, uh story time a political controversial paradigm shift um like i said it's intended for a mature audience only uh the pictures are graphic and provocative and thought-provoking and so um yeah, again, if you can't take this type of heat, then don't bother coming to these kitchens. But for those who can and understand the meaning and the gist of what the book is, the purpose of the book and the point I'm trying to make, then you understand that it's more than just, you know, pissing off white folks and, you know, putting it in their faces how they treat blacks. It's more than that. Again, um, if you're those who can make it through, you know, to hypothetical, then you will see that it's more than just that. It's about unity and compassion and coming together as one. And so for those who are interested, please go to my website. Different12.net and get your copy of What If a Controversial Paradigm Ship available now. It is available on Amazon, and um, so if you go there, you're going to pay a higher price. So go to my website and get the cheaper deal. Um, <laughs> and what else? What else? What else? Uh, what's going on in Different World? How are we going to close out this year? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, with the death of my mother, you know, just recently, in, um, she passed the day after Christmas. And so, um, and I know I'm not the only one that's going through that, you know, Christmas time is a depressing time and like, that's no joke. And so, um, my next video is going to be dedicated to my mother and matter of fact, everything I do and that is, is in her honor. But, um, the next video is going to be talking about, you know, the issue of, you know, mental health and just being open and upfront about it. And, um, you know, anybody out there listening and, and seeing what I'm going through, you know, my, you guys are in my prayers, and I hope and pray that you guys keep me in your prayers, because I am not okay. That devil is working at me, and he wants me to go off the deep end, but I won't let him, because my mama taught me better than that. But, and so for anybody out there that's going through that, just know it's okay to not be okay, but just don't sit there and not be okay. It will be okay. You got to get help, man. You go talk with a therapist, just like me. I'm in grievance counseling. Um, I'm looking for support groups and talking with my family and friends. Um, and thank you to everybody who has reached out to me and, and shown me love, and I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> so with that being said, be on the lookout for that vlog. That's going to be coming up next. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, you guys. I truly appreciate all the you know interaction I'm getting with you guys, You know your thoughts and opinions you know on, on the book. Um, um, I truly appreciate it. That's the point of the book, to get the conversation started and to keep it going. So whether people are talking about it good or bad, they're talking about it. And so their bell has been rung. And so with that being said, you guys, um, I'm going to close this out. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and don't forget, whatever it is in life that you want to go after, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it surely it will come to you. Difference well. Come and learn. Peace. Rest in peace, Mama. I love you. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustrations? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author different 